Hi, welcome back to C programming. Now we are going to see the operators in C, bitwise operators. What are bitwise operators? Let us see. Bitwise operators are performed on bits. We know that the computers operate on zeros and ones only. So here we go down to the level of oh, those bits and perform these operations. So the operands are first converted. That means whatever the values are given, these are first converted to bits, zeros and ones. And on them, the, perform, the operation is performed. So here, because the, perform, the action is being taken on the bits, the, it is very fast. So the required operation is performed on each and every bit, and it is a faster processing. And here coming to this, we have bitwise and operator, bitwise or operator, and exclusive or operator. These are three types of operators we have. Let us see how they perform. Before proceeding further, like, share, and comment if you like these uh, lectures on uh, C. And please subscribe to uh, Dr. Vasu's lectures so that you will be getting uh, the alerts whenever there is an update. Thank you. Next, coming to these bitwise operators, come. let us see and. This and is used as the symbol. And suppose A and B are two variables and and operation is being performed on these. If A is zero and B is zero, the result will be zero when and is performed. Similarly, A zero, B one, it results in zero. A one, B zero, results in zero. A1, B1 results in 1. That means only when both are true, right? We call this uh, 1 as uh, true and 0 as false. So here when these two A and B have values, that is true, we get the result. In all other cases, even if uh, any one of these has uh, 1, we get 0. That is end operation. Uh, next, uh, R operator. This R operator again performed on A and B. The result is here. A, when A and B are zeros, the result is zero. When either or A or B has a value, is true, the result will be true. If, if A or B has values and the other one is zero, we get the value here, true. Even if they are both are true, we get the value here, right? Next, uh, exclusive R. Coming to this, the result is uh, of uh, performance on uh, A and B is given here. When both are zero, we get zero. When both are ones, we get zero. That is the uh, typical case here, you have to remember. When either of them are one, right? This zero and one are one zero, we get one here. When both are zero or both are ones, we get zero, right? So just remember this, uh, and let us see how they are performed, how they are operated on two values, A and B. Let us take A as 53, B 14. When it is, first let us convert the A into bit, bits, right? So when it is converted to bits, we get a 0, 0, double 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, how we get this is here, starting from the right side, we take this, uh, we multiply these values with uh, 2 power, 0, starting with the 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square, 2 cube, 2 four power 4, like this. So this value is multiplied with that, 1 into 2 power 0. This is a binary, right? This is a binary. So here 1 is multiplied with the 2 power 0. This 0 is multiplied with the 2 power 1. Like this, we perform. So the value 53 is obtained like that. Now, B is in the similar way, when it is converted to bits 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. So that is 14. Now, when A and B is considered, right, this is the B value. Now, if uh, A and B is performed, this operation is performed on each and every bit of A and B. To start with, suppose 1, 0. 1, 0 means and operation. 1, 0, that is 0. So 1, 0 is 0, 0, 1 is 0, 1, 1 results in 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, again 1, 
वन जीरो 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 रिजल्ट इन जीरो लाइक दिस वी गेट इट इफ इट इज कन्वर्टेड टू डिसमल सिस्टम वी गेट ए वैल्यू ऑफ ट्वेंटी सो दट इज वेन एंड ऑपरेशन इज परफॉर्म ऑन ए एंड बी नेक्स्ट लेट अस सी आर ऑपरेशन कमिंग टू दिस आर ऑपरेशन दिस ए एंड बी वैल्यूज आर टेकन हियर वन जीरो right this table you need to follow that is 1 0 results in 1 0 1 results in 1 1 1 results in 1 0 0 results in 0 1 1 1 1 0 results in 1 0 0 0 0 both result in 0 so a or b operator results in this value when it is converted to decimal you get 55 so this is and operation next uh, exclusive operation exclusive r now if you take uh, a exclusive b the values and uh, they are when it is performed on a and b 1 0 results in 1 0 1 results in 1 1 1 results in 0 0 0 results in 0 1 1 results in 0 and this 1 0 results in 1 Zero 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 zero. Of course, results in both zeros. So this is a exclusive operation. So like this, we get the values. Next. So the value when it is taken in a decimal system, it is thirty five. So now we are going to see another operation called shift operators. Shift operators means these shift operators they move these bits towards either left or right. let us see how it is performed so shift operators are two types one is left when the bits are moved to the left side it is called a shift left shift when it is moved to the right it is called a right shift right this arrow it's something like if you take this as a arrow direction it uh, indicates right side movement so like that we will see say i have taken a as 53 convert this into bits right this is the uh, bits uh, bit value now i want to perform a left shift operation two on a left shift that means two bits are shifted towards left side the meaning of it is two bits are shifted to left when you see this i have removed this uh, two the same number i have taken removed the left side two bits here now i am going to shift uh, the move the this one to i'll move this uh, yeah i'll move this uh, bits the remaining bits towards left side like this so now we get a void here on the right side a gap you have to fill this with the zeros so that's how the left shift operation takes place when you shift this what happens is its value increases because you are shifting towards the higher values now 212 it results in 212 so this is on left shift operation suppose i want to have two shifts right right shift two let us see how what happens now i have taken the same value of a right in bits now i am going to perform right shift operation that means i'll remove these uh, two bits on the right side first and remaining bits as it is right and now i am going to move the remaining bits towards the right side by two bits right two steps so when you move it to the right you get a void a gap here fill it with the zeros that means when you are moving towards the right side you are moving towards lower values that's why the value of a decreases when right shift operation takes place you can observe here if you see the value of this you get a is equal to 13 so that's how the bitwise operations takes place so with this we completed the bitwise operators in the next video we are going to see assignment and conditional operators so if you like this please uh, subscribe to dr vasu's lectures and let us see let us meet in the next video with the assignment and conditional operators thank you